Hi, Martin here. Today I'm going to install a new set of spider headlight assemblies. Um, they're exact same as the ones I have here, except we're going to a CCFL type of halo, which is a cold cathode fluorescent light. Uh, it's basically a gas filled tube opposed to the LED that I have in here right now. Um, you're going to see quite a bit of a difference. I'm going to show you a side-by-side -side comparison. They are, you know, exactly the same as the ones I have in here, other than their CCFL uh, halo rings, and this has got a tint on it. Um, I didn't go with the tint the first time because I didn't want to diminish the performance of the headlamps or the uh, halo rings. And um, I'm actually getting people giving me the high beams every once in a while when I have just my regular um, you know, lights on. I am running HIDs. I do have them properly aimed. Uh, they just put out a lot of light, you know. Um, I'm running a 5000K bulb, a very white light, which I, that's what I prefer. And um, so I think I can go with the tinted ones here. It look a little better on the vehicle since I got kind of a black thing going on here, you know, I'm all murdered out. Um, so we'll install these. I'm also going to show you um, how much power the CCFLs draw opposed to the LEDs. That may be a consideration for you. If uh, these draw, you know, they're obviously going to draw more power than an LED. All right, well, let's get started. Okay, we'll start by, get yourself a uh, seven millimeter nut driver or a socket and start by removing the one bolt that holds the whole assembly in. Just grasp the uh, headlight assembly. And then disconnect all the wiring, simply unplugging everything. Got our marker lights down here and turn signals. Disconnect those. Now on these, I did solder them all together. I'll have to just redo this connection here. So for right now, I'll go ahead and cut this. And I've got my ground wire coming back here. I'm just going to disconnect that. headlight assembly. Okay, here you can see the two headlight assemblies side by side. Obviously you can tell the difference between the tinted one and the non-tinted. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the uh, halo rings on both of them. And it's not hard to tell the difference. Even with the uh, tinted, the uh, CCFLs definitely outperform the LEDs. All right, the next thing I want to show you is the amp draw. Uh, this will be a combination of the, the halo rings and the three LEDs on the side. And if you can see that there on the gauge, we're looking at 0.2 amps. So a very low amp draw. Okay, now with the CCFLs and the three LEDs on the side as well. All right, if you can see that there on the gauge, we're looking at a 
0.75. So we're looking at more than three times the power to operate these. Because uh, with the combination of the two, we're looking at a, uh, like an amp and a half. Still not a lot of power altogether. These are definitely a lot brighter. touch the lens glass on the bulb itself because that uh, does make it go bad really fast it's the oils from your fingers All right, on the negative side, I've just added a chunk of wire around 10 inches long and got the two negatives from the uh, halos and the LEDs tied to here. I'm gonna solder this on and then slide a piece of heat shrink over it. Then on the positive side, I'm going to use a couple of these, a spade. I'll put one on one end, one on the other. That way I can easily disconnect this if I want. Another thing you're going to want to do is they put these caps on here. You're going to want to remove that from your old assembly. And this is from the original assembly from the factory. This is like a vent. You can install this back on here. All right, this is ready to reinstall. You don't forget to remove these. All right, go ahead and put in your turn signals and marker lights. Hooking up your high beams. Also, go ahead and feed the wire through here for your ground wire for the uh, halos and LEDs. We've got a positive wire right here. Hook that up. Just like that. Now just reinstall the seven millimeter bolt. With the headlamp installed, all we got left is to show you how the you adjust your front headlamp. This is where you adjusted it originally. There was a bolt sticking up here, and you'd stick a socket on here and turn it left or right to make it go up or down. You're going to do the exact same thing, except you're going to use a Phillips screwdriver. Uh, I'd find one with a fairly long shaft on it. Now I'm going to show you here through the back. Yes, if you could get to it, if there's not an air box in the way, or like on the other side where you have a battery, fuse box, etc., all in the way, you could not get to this Phillips screw here. But what they provide is this wheel, and if you look closely, you'll see the teeth on there. 
Well, you take your Phillips screwdriver, you go through the original hole, come right down there like that. And this is how you adjust your front headlight. Especially important on the side with the battery that will be impossible to get to without actually removing the headlamp if, if you couldn't get to it. You know, I mean, but you just use the stock location here, come down here with a Phillips screwdriver, and you'll be able to adjust it without removing the front headlamp. As you can see, it does a nice job. Just like that. Well, as you can see, that the CCFLs are a lot brighter than the LED uh, halos. Um, and they do appear even brighter on camera. Uh, but they are a definite improvement. I'm talking, you know, you've seen some of the, the close up shots I had. You're talking three times brighter than an LED. Uh, much closer to, let's say, what you're familiar with when you see a BMW coming down the road. Um, and that's what I really like about these. So for the little bit of extra cost, um, like 30 to $40 a set you're looking at, and that they outperform through the smoked lenses, through a clear, you know, uh, I think this is definitely the way to go. Well, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.